Alright guys, we're going to talk about the back squat today. First thing we need to get set up is the J-clips. So we want the bottom of the J-clip right around middle of the chest height, clavicle height. So if you notice, we got these sweet laser cut numbers. I'm just going to put this to where the bottom of the J-clip is right around clavicle height. That's going to be good. Okay. Make sure that we mirror this on the opposite side. And the cool thing about this is if you back squat or front squat at 22, it's always going to be at 22. We'll then load the barbell back on up and we should be good. Now, when we deload the bar, the J clip should be set up appropriately to where I can just do a quarter squat to lift the barbell up. I'm not doing a full squat. I'm definitely not coming up onto our tippy toes. Okay. The next thing we're going to talk about is setting yourself up for a successful back squat by building a successful routine. And it starts with where our hands go. So we have these little strips in between the knurling on the barbell. I encourage you, just take your index finger, put it on the first strip. That's gonna be a good place. If you're really tight through the shoulders, you're gonna to wanna to put your index finger on the second strip, okay? Or maybe a thumb's length off that first strip. But let's start with index finger on the strip, okay? Second thing you're gonna to wanna to do is, see how much space we have here on this J-clip? Push the barbell up against the rig so that it's not sliding around on you. In the middle, third thing we're going to do, middle of the barbell, we are going to place the fleshy region of our traps. Not our neck, our cervical spine, but these muscles called our traps. We are going to place them directly underneath the barbell. Okay? Get comfortable here. Some of you guys might kind of go back and forth, left to right, but get comfortable. Next thing we're going to do, situate our feet in a linear fashion into our squat position. We're then going to pull our hips underneath and we're going to stand the weight off of the rack. Okay. From here, next step, four steps backwards. One, two, three, four. And if you notice two steps back and then two steps to uh, appropriately position my feet in a linear fashion into my squat position. I don't want to step too far away from the rig. Okay. I want to take a quick glance down, make sure that my feet are in line and my feet are where they need to be. From here, I'm going to find a spot about eight to 10 feet out in front of me. Take a big breath, brace, and start my descent. Okay. Now that is going to set you up for a successful rep. When you complete your reps, I want you to walk back in, hit the plastic skids. Once both edges hit, we will slide it down and pull ourselves under. That is how you set yourself up with a successful routine for some successful back squats.